It's November 2016, and in this video, we'll look back at our successful July 2016 community site event and talk about our First Nation consultations. But first, let's have a look at the John Hart Project and see all the site advancements over the last six months and that the project continues to track on schedule. We're on the upstream side of the John Hart Dam, looking down at the new water intake works. After the successful removal of all the rock, crews have been focused on placing all the concrete to allow for the installation of the new water intake gates in January. We'll also be tunneling underneath the dam to connect to the power tunnel on the downstream side, and that tunneling work should be finished by the end of February. And for the nearly 1.6 kilometer power tunnel that goes down to the Jeremy Station, that tunneling work is just over 50% complete. We're now on the downstream side of the John Hart Dam, where we have a good vantage of the work that started on the water release valves and that rock excavation process continues. Currently, the annual uh, year-round fish habitat flows down Elk Falls Canyon is provided by the spillway gates. But once these valves are completed in operation, they will then provide the flow downstream and the spillway gates will be closed off and only utilized for flood risk management operations. Now, I know you're interested in that powerhouse cavern, so let's go check it out. Just six months ago, this area was a massive underground cavern that was essentially empty. Since then, it has been steadily filling up with concrete placements for the three turbines and water bypass facility. About 6,400 cubic meters of concrete, or enough concrete to fill two and a half Olympic-sized swimming pools, has already been placed inside the powerhouse. The project jobs peaked in September with 420 people working at the site. The number of jobs will now slowly diminish as the project moves to completion. We're now at the water outlet works where water from the tunnels will re-enter the Canberra River. Here, this is where the uh, concrete placement has been essentially completed for the water maintenance gates. And for the 650 meter long tunnel that comes from the powerhouse to this area, that tunneling work is about 45% complete. Our project contractor, Empower BC, with SNC Lavalin, Acon, Frontier Camper, and our turbine generator supplier, GE Alstom, continue to do good work. And we take a lot of pride when we open up the site once a year to allow the community to see this amazing project. This past July, over 1,000 people took it in and we appreciate those community interests and community partnerships. The most remarkable thing about this project is the magnitude of it. The volume of concrete going in and the volume of the rock coming out is mind-boggling. When you see what a billion dollars is doing. Uh, it's a pretty phenomenal project for Campbell River and the, uh, the stimulus that's been brought in, but also the exposure internationally. So, you know, we have Aboriginal training, we got NIAPS, we've got the museum with the puppet show, uh, we have the Campbell River Museum and the pop up uh, visitor information center, the Kinsmen, and now I just see the Comox uh, First Nations have arrived to do a performance. So, um, Pretty exciting. We began First Nation consultations in 2007 when the project was initiated. And we're proud of our ongoing consultations with the Weokai Nation, Campbell River Indian Band, and the Comox First Nation. The project is stronger off through those relationships, whether going through the regulatory processes for the project to First Nations working on the project site. We were able to catch up with Chief Asu and Chief Everson during the community site event. So let's conclude by hearing what they had to say. It was a long, I, if I can call it a negotiation with BC Hydro and uh, since then we've entered into an IBA with them which uh, has really brought I think uh, BC Hydro and First Nations together. It's been a great project from start to finish I think that uh, BC Hydro has been very uh, willing to come to the table, talk to First Nations people. The working relationship is, is fantastic. Uh, we've got to know people on a personal level here in Campbell River. And so I would say all in all, it, it has been successful. I think that uh, the project, moving it from above ground to underground is gonna be a great environmental boost to the uh, local area you know, get rid of the pen stocks and make this place look more like a park than a BC Hydro generating station. I think it's a good idea. 